Collective, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you all for being here. I want to give a special shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for your donations. I hope that you'll please like and share and subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings whenever I post, okay? Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. We've hit 10,000, well, we're over 10,000 subscribers now, so that's a huge achievement and milestone. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for being here and spending your time with me and supporting the channel and supporting me and sweet little Evie. We love you guys so much, Collective. Okay, so let's tap in and let's see what we need to know about. Alright, Spirit, what do we need to know? We got the Angel of Love. Envy. Anxiety. And the Angel of Strength. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Storm Warning. Something could be getting exposed about a family or something could be going on with a happy family could be coming in and someone, the Angel of Love is here. For some of you, you could be having a new Ten of Cups union that's perfect bliss and happiness. You can't get any better than the sun and this would be like the ten of cups energy here with archangel raphael which would be an extremely wow and the angel of balance would be an extremely beautiful loving union here that could be coming in somebody's feeling envious someone's feeling anxiety a family member could be needing strength and feeling anxiety or full of envy right now there's some kind of storm that's coming in though with something to do with the family and it's gonna affect the heart chakra here something could be hurtful or could hurt you deeply here. Care for this angel of love. We have awareness and the truth. So, getting ready to become aware of the truth of something, being asked to hold a space of love in your heart. We've got the emperor. This is judgment here, and awareness is the magician. That's three major arcanas right there. Wow and the sun and the universe that's five major arcanas oh my god and the chariot okay something major is getting ready to go on and somebody that's sitting here with this anxiety here this is the eight of swords this could be jail someone is really scared right now we've got the third eye chakra so you're intuitively knowing that something that's getting ready to disrupt their foundation and achievements. Hmm. The emperor could be a father figure. It could be law enforcement. But judgment, the sun, the universe, it's the world. An end of a cycle of completion. The, the world's going to know what's going on here. And the storm warning's coming in. Somebody's needing a lot of strength right now. Wow. Okay. 
Let me put these. Okay, give me one more for anxiety. I got a huge clump, so I'm gonna put that back in. Give me one more for anxiety. Got heartache and loss here, which would be the three of swords. So the eight of swords and the three of swords. A four of wands, which would be foundation and achievements, it would be like marriage, the home, the stability in the home, being affected with the third eye chakra going against their intuition. Clarify this angel of strength. We have conflict and defeat, which would be the five of swords. Okay, somebody's going through it right now, for sure. Accelerated motion, which would be the Eight of Wands. Could be having an energetic backfire, uh, quick communication coming in, something moving quickly at an accelerated speed. We've got the Tower here with disruption. And disruption in the material and spiritual prosperity, which would be the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. And this storm warning is regarding someone's wish fulfillment here, which would be the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups, which would be a beautiful, perfectly loving spiritual union here. Or it can also be an agreement that was made. We have strength here, power. I see lions all the time and <laughs> they just keep showing up. So we've got Leo energy here. The Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Or the Eight of Pentacles, I mean. Moving forward, positive movement forward. Moving on to calmer waters with temperance here earth angel energy patience patiently planning and moving forward very gifted at skilled at a craft that you that you are working on could be uh, the workplace hmm. what do I want to use on here. Prayer for the angel of love. Marriage. Oh, okay. So we could have a new loving union coming in here. Or someone that is in a, in a relationship with someone here um, is trapped in fear because they may be going to jail. With this eight of swords here. They're trapped in fear with the eight of swords and the three of swords. And they're broken hearted because they have to leave their partner. But yeah, there's been some kind of a disturbance in this relationship. Could be an entity attachment that's going on. Something is obscure, something's hidden, something supernatural could have occurred. And then with awareness with the magician here and judgment so someone's under judgment and it has to do with money with someone's luck with a fortune being rewarded something daydreaming, being optimistic, an illusion has been going on, we have eternal love here, it's 
sending entity attachments to disrupt and disturb um, two of cup unions money could be involved creating illusions and then receiving a gift of money for hmm, for sending in emotional disturbances and supernatural disturbances with entities wow we have real estate magic and curse all right here together So coming into the home, wealth, some kind of an investment here. Invest in it. Magic is done over it. A curse is done. And then nothing but conflict and strife going on. Constantly arguing and fighting. Tell me about this envy. libation some kind of prayer oh we have death donation for a funeral we have an accident oh goodness someone could be in danger or have some kind of an emory or an injury or something and Oh God, we have bereavement. Somebody, somebody could pass away that's envious. Someone that's very envious could be passing away. It's an authority figure here. It's an emperor energy. Could be a father figure. We have merit making. Oh my goodness, someone is... Okay, we definitely have someone that's getting ready to cross over here. Someone that's trapped in fear and feeling this anxiety could be scared that they're not going to go to heaven. Could be scared of going to jail and could try and take themselves out. So they don't have to go. We have stress. Someone's really stressed out right now. Headaches and pressure in the head. A lack of sleep. Tell me about this anxiety. And with the emperor and the seven uh, or the chariot. It's definitely law enforcement. That's jail. And with the Eight of Swords, the next card out, that's jail. Anxiety about jail or prison. Someone was coached on how to trap someone. They're really pissed. Or now someone is very upset because they were given advice and coached on how to do something. And they're trapped in fear someone could have been tricked into doing something and mm, trying to trap a victim or they trapped a victim or they're the victim someone's furious about something that's happening here They're scared to death. They're scared to death. They're pissed off and they're scared to death. And they're paranoid. Someone was blind to something. Someone could have been blindsided by something. Now they're feeling awkward there's evidence there's some kind of an investigation oh shit yeah somebody there's a detective here someone's under investigation they're getting ready to go to jail someone's pissed 
that they're getting ready to go to jail. They didn't see this coming. They were blindsided. So someone's done something and they're full of anxiety. They're, they're absolutely terrified. I mean, yeah. Jail is scary. I've been there. Clarify this angel of strength. I got idea. A suggestion. Someone suggested something that seemed like a bright idea. This light bulb moment here. Regarding material and spiritual prosperity. So earthly inheritance and spiritual inheritance and abundance the tower came in and has left this person in the five of swords they've been completely defeated and something is getting ready to to move rapidly with this eight of wands here and this magic from this curse here it's backfiring and this person's in the tower and if this person, it, I feel like jail could be possible, but this can also be with the anxiety and the trapped in fear, both sitting here with their hands like this, and then the stress card like this, it could be a, a mental prison that this person is definitely in. This angel of strength, we've got mask. So, being deceptive and pretending and inconsistent in their lifestyle has created a tower moment regarding material and spiritual prosperity. Creating conflict and deception. and disruption we have inducement someone was persuaded and tempted to do something and it has to do with money here something that they were saving money someone could have been bribed to do something They were promised, they were promised something. They were responsible for something and they're gonna have to confirm something. This person was a bully or has been bullied. They're very embarrassed. A bully has been defeated. It's unwillingness and gossip and embarrassment. Pray for the storm warning with the fulfillment of wishes. Somebody's ready. Somebody's ready. They're prepared in a, some kind of an arrangement. It's affecting the stability here and someone is in an absolute nightmare right now. They're trying to prepare for some kind of an arrangement that has been made. That they're suffering darkness and persecution. They're really worried about what this is that's coming in here being hesitant they're confused they're having to make a decision about something this is an enemy here that looks like it's getting ready to fall we have illness with disease weakness and fragility 
someone could be sick and in the hospital someone could be sick at home in the bed someone could be on bed rest because I looked at relaxing someone could be resting and taking it easy but there was a collaboration here that was going on hmm Well, somebody is, there's some kind of an arrangement that's been made that's going to create a fulfillment of wishes for someone and a storm for someone else. Okay. Tell me about this person's spirit. What's going on here? got roadblock Capricorn energy something's blocked a blocked change there's barriers and challenges it's time to regroup about something someone's stuck and paralyzed there's obstacles stalling a temporary setback someone's had to take a detour not right now one step forward and two steps back So someone's definitely stuck in something. They've gotten themselves stuck in a mess. We have a Black Widow Aquarius energy. There's a betrayal that's happened. A warning. Something is very twisted. A turncoat. This person is cunning. There's danger that's going on. It's a very toxic situation a toxic situation or relationship that someone is in a web of control entrapment an unexpected attack something that is insidious has been going on poisonous and low vibrational we got chess virgo energy Someone could be in checkmate, strategy, planning, checkmate, grand design, thinking ahead, tactics, moves, and counter moves. A master plan that is being created or has fallen apart. A course of action, a power play, game theory, and the consequences of actions. The fine print, Virgo energy again. Something about the details and taking a closer look, an introspection. Someone's doing research. Be careful. Something in depth that they need to pay attention to. Don't assume something. Someone's being very thorough, taking a deep dive, trying to find hidden information, double checking something and reading between the lines. And one more. We got childhood. Pisces energy. innocence playful growing friendship whiteness of being foundations the need of others revisiting the past loving life no worries being inexperienced growth and new beginnings so someone was 
hope and for a new beginning regarding something of the past, but there's been a roadblock and some a black widow is having to read the fine print and something. Could be some kind of contract or paperwork or something. And they're in checkmate. This has to do from something that stemmed from childhood. And it's created a roadblock here. And Black Widow could even be from your childhood. about this red ball. Love for humanity. It's Aquarius energy. Hopeful, artistically talented, sensual, spiritually inclined, a large social circle. Loves a great cause. Someone's a rebel. Gives freely. Unrealistic goals. Flexible. And a dreamer. Your deep love for humanity and ability to imagine a better future for all give you an unshakable belief in the possibility of it actually coming to fruition. Here's how this Black Widow. The Angel of Love is here. Softening your heart, possibly towards something that you're, that's getting ready to come forward. Likes a challenge. It's a Libra. Genuine, dynamic, elegant, energetic, provoking, needs an energetic partner, tense, uncompromising, loves conflict, impulsive, altercations, and argumentative. The planet of war in the house of partnerships makes fighting for your response to conflict. Instead, try to listen to what others have to say before you act. So, either you can be a Libra or whoever this, whoever you're dealing with here could be a Libra. And then Libra is also justice, so that could be the courts. So something could be going to court regarding a black widow. They like a challenge. Someone thought that something was going to go in their favor and it doesn't look like that's what's going to happen. Clarify chess. Dissolving the structure of ego. Capricorn energy. Someone could work in the medical field. We've got a doctor here. Hard working. Life of healing or service craves inspirational occupation. Someone's artistic. Responsibility is burdensome. A visionary. Self-sacrificing and idealistic expectations. You will find the greatest meaning in life as you aid society with compassion and self-sacrifice, which ultimately leads to the disillusion of the ego. And Neptune is in the 10th house. Neptune is illusion. It's 
struggles with material possessions. And Neptune again in the second house of Taurus. I have. Innately intuitive, generous, naive, unrealistic, struggles with boundaries, low self-worth, can't hold on to money, compassionate, and poor money decisions. And the, we're clarifying this fine print here. Plagued by money problems, when spiritually aligned with your higher self, you can master the ability to intuitively create abundance and wealth. That's very true. Someone's having to be careful with their finances, reading between the lines, double checking some kind of hidden information. They're they're thoroughly diving deep into something. They're trying to research something regarding their material possessions. Terrify childhood. Sweet home. Jupiter in the fourth house of Cancer, I feel. It's a close-knit family. Nurturing, respected, prosperous, moral, over-emotional, a big house, wants or has many children, manipulative, successful with real estate. Domestically comes, or domesticity comes naturally and your efforts to make home inviting and comfortable are always successful. You hate chaos and purposefully make home a refuge. This could be a sibling or someone from your childhood. Something's going on regarding the ownership of something here. It's the sun in the second house and Taurus. So the sun's out here for the third time. Security, staying power, acquisitions, keep pomp, keeps promises, solid foundations, values material possessions, wealthy, financial acumen, asset-based values. Your value is not found in the quality or quantity of your possessions. Instead, it is in your staying power towards things and people in your life. So this angel of love is here to help soften someone's heart towards this storm warning that's getting ready to come in um, and realize that material possessions are not the important thing. It's the people and, you know, it's be... Mm -mm. It's in your staying power towards things and people in your life not the possessions and not being all about wealth and greed what do we need to know here from this deck why is this happening broken trust Address the wound of broken trust. Experiencing a significant breach of trust, leading to difficulty in forming new relationships or reconnecting with a higher power or community. This person's hiding a knife behind their back. So someone could have stabbed you in the back regarding home sweet home here. Emotional repression. Suppressing or denying emotions, hindering emotional well being and spiritual growth. I just got this deck today. I got this I got several new decks today. Those last two I just used are new and then this one I got today too. If you're curious as to what this one's called. Say it's called sacred woundings. 
Okay, someone is suppressing their emotions and they broke your trust. Your ego disillusion. The process of transcending the ego for spiritual growth, which can be challenging and disorienting. So someone's having an ego death right now. Cynicism wounds. Adopting a deeply skeptical or negative view of life, others, or spiritual beliefs, often as a defense against disappointment or, and hurt. Someone's very cynical. We have religious trauma. Negative experiences related to cultural or religious upbringing that can impact one's spiritual well-being. We have anger and resentment. Harboring deep-seated anger or resentment towards others, oneself, or a higher power, which can prevent healing and spiritual growth. And that lands under broken trust. So you could be very angry and could have held some resentment towards someone that broke your trust. Things are coming to the light. Someone's envious and angry because you know that they broke your trust. Something that could have happened in your childhood with a black widow that was playing chess and trying to put you in checkmate and now this person is going through an ego death and they're in checkmate all these roadblocks all this magic with these curses that they were doing and putting out regarding uh, creating illusions around how I've got this laid down around a gift of money got it laying like this and it's creating illusions here around this they were playing checkers the collectives playing chess so You're just damn good at chess. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> just saying. Tell me about this emotional repression here. Yeah. Anxiety and fear. This person's going through it. This person's really pissed off. They're resentful. And they're scared. Living with, per, or with pervasive fear or anxiety that disrupts one's sense of peace and security, often stemming from past trauma or uncertainty about the future. Someone is scared to death. And we've got a humiliation wound here, and it lands right under your ego dissolution. So someone is having an ego death. They don't want to be humiliated. Persistent shame, avoidance of social interactions, and chronic self-doubt leading to low self-esteem and difficulty forming trusting relationships. Hmm. Someone's getting ready to get humiliated over something that they've done and they don't want this to happen and it's going to be whenever they go to jail. Under cynicism wounds, we have guilt and shame. And this is going to create a blockage in the sacral chakra. That's where guilt and shame are stored. Lingering feelings of guilt or shame that hinder personal growth and self-acceptance. Under this religious trauma here, we have fear of the future.
Persistent apprehension or anxiety about what lies ahead, stemming from uncertainty, anticipation of negative outcomes, or a lack of trust in one's ability to handle future challenges or changes. We have trust deficiency on the bottom. Pervasive lack of trust in oneself, others, or the world, often resulting from past experiences of betrayal, abandonment, or trauma. So, trust issues are definitely going on right now. Trust has been broken. So, of course, you're going to have trust issues with whoever this is here. Maybe whoever this is that's getting ready to go to jail trusted someone from their childhood that um, they didn't think this was going to happen and now it's happening. Someone I was drawn to brought to the inducement card in the tower. Someone was very persuaded and tempted into doing something and it has come at a very high price is what I'm hearing. They're very humiliated. They're angry. They are freaked out right now. Someone is about to lose their mind. They can't handle this. They can't handle this. And on the bottom of the deck over here, we've got a secret. We've got a secret. You know, people that they work with knowing a secret. I got this deck too. It's shadow work, I'm telling you lions, <laughs> all kinds of lions. <laughs> And the lady that I got it from, she had sent me a couple little stickers. So one of them was shadow work. You have to find the untouched parts within yourself to be able to discover the true you. And then a lion sticker, I'm telling you. I'm seeing them constantly. Find strength in yourself. <laughs> okay, so this deck is really cool. We're, we're going to pull some from here and see what comes out. nosy are you a nosy person because you want information on other people to help determine your self-worth you gather info about others in order to compare yourself to them so that could be what this person is doing here we have overindulgence on the bottom so someone could be overindulging in substances. Do you overindulge in order to cope with your feelings? You tend to overindulge because it helps you numb any negative emotions. Is it your coping mechanism? Someone's really stressed out and it's um, escalating them overindulging in toxicities and addictions here. God. We have someone could be a racist or a bigot here. I almost didn't want to show it. Oh, God. Okay. You discriminate based, based on a person's race, religion, ethnicity, or other characteristics and believe certain races are superior to others. So... This person's this is this is not sound like a very good person here that's getting ready to go to prison and they're freaking out. We have obsessive. This person is obsessed with something. You have an let's see. I forgot to read the top part up here on the racist and bigot card. Do you have a strong need to socially belong to a particular group or have a desire to feel superior to others due to your own insecurity? 
that's very narcissistic and we have someone who's very obsessive here do you have a fear of being alone which causes you to make threats or take impulsive actions in order to prevent a partner from leaving you have an unhealthy attachment style which can lead to others feeling fearful or anxious hmm. so maybe someone is getting ready to go to jail that's an obsessive person here We have cunning. Why do you feel the need to trick people to get what you want out of them? You achieve your end goal by deceit or evasion using strategies to get your way. So this person is very cunning here. And they're deceptive. Very cunning and deceptive. Do you harm others to get something you want and to protect or promote yourself? You lead others to believe something other than the truth in order to protect yourself you behave in a dishonest way oh my god overly oh, dramatic this person's look at this they're pointing a gun it's a fucking creepy clown do you cause drama to elicit empathy from others in order to mask the real issue you exaggerate the experience or your feelings to appear as the victim to others. Hmm. We've got a crazy person on our hands right now. Looks like they're getting ready to get locked up. Could be for a gun crime. We have domineering. Does your feelings of mistrust cause you to assert your power over someone else? You try to control other people without any consideration for their feelings or opinions. So whoever this is, they're very domineering as well. They're nervous. This person's nervous. Hmm. Do you avoid social settings due to your fear of failing? To do the acceptable you experience extreme anxiety and fear in social settings and relationships hmm someone that likes a challenge they're all about their material possessions here in their home sweet home this person, um, this person could work in the medical field and act like they love humanity, but be like this crazy, bigoted, racist monster behind the scenes. They don't have to work in the medical field. I was just drawn to the lab coat and the stethoscope. They're having a serious ego death right now. This person is a black widow. And there's a serious betrayal that's occurred. And they've... A huge web has been created. Entrapment. An unexpected attack. Insidious and poisonous. They're stuck. They have to regroup. They're facing challenges. Something keeps happening to where they're taking one step forward and two steps back. It's this Eight of Wands backfire from this curse and this magic that's been going on. They're having a massive backfire and it's ended up putting them in checkmate. And they're getting ready to face the consequences of their actions because of a master plan that they created. Due to hidden information, you've been reading between the lines, trying to figure out what this fucker's been up to. Something has been, they've been stalling something, creating all kinds of obstacles to keep you stuck and blocking paths and creating barriers and challenges everywhere you go since childhood.
Huh. Someone is controlling. Do you assert your power over others because you fear things will go wrong? You try to control people and situations to an unhealthy extent through manipulation or threats. So this person is very controlling and was very controlling over you. person superficial do you judge others based on outside factors due to not wanting to reveal your innermost self you seek relationships based on appearances and you are more concerned with surface aspects you know this person this person is extremely materialistic and superficial here and there's something big time that's going on regarding material and spiritual prosperity and the ownership of something here. Tell me about this person. Who's going to jail? Clarify this confinement. Someone's trapped themselves. Someone. We got ritual. Could have been doing a binding spell. And you're unbothered. It didn't work. So, someone was trying to do a binding ritual on you. It's not working. This person is mentally and emotionally unstable. They could have, yeah. They're trying to bind an earth angel here. And it has to do with m actual money. It has to do with, wow. A lot of money. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Well, there's been some massive destruction that has occurred. Okay. Someone's praying regarding this situation. Praying for death magic to work for this curse. Someone could be trying to take you out so that they can have your material and spiritual prosperity here. Clarify this anxiety. Who's dealing? Who has anxiety, spirit? Who is this? Could be an ice king here that has anxiety. Could be a rich girl that has anxiety. They're really surprised about something that's happened and occurred. Someone could be, someone could have a health concern. Someone could be in the hospital because we definitely have someone over here that could be passing away with death, accident, loss, stress. Because the loss card is bereavement. So that's grieving the loss of a loved one. And then merit making, which is God, with donation, which is or libation which is pray in religion and then this person's got a serious health concern hmm. who has anxiety this person has an entity attachment because of this curse and this spell work here so if they were trying to send an entity out it's 
taking this person out and they're sending out the evil off so all this stuff is backfiring now this person is scared to death because of all these backfires that are coming through we got the courts here we got something going on with the legal system this could be someone that works in law enforcement it could be an attorney it could be a judge someone's really pissed right now regarding a court situation they're wanting something to change they don't want something to be going on could have something to do with your ancestors and with all this money here this could be over an inheritance here that somebody's getting ready to go to jail we have a mature woman here in the courthouse so there's a mature woman that could be dealing with anxiety hmm. clarify this three of swords this heart ache and loss what's this about it's a mature man so a mature man and a mature woman are both um, having to deal with the court situation false narratives have been created they, they could have lied to the courts we have a karmic masculine here they're in emotional pain and they're all up in their thoughts for sure someone's going to pass away telling you someone's getting ready to pass away oh my god yeah they're getting someone could be crossing over and this pathway lands right on the ancestors yeah they're moving on someone could either pass away from some kind of condition because this person's in the hospital bed here or oh god no access blocked this could be a soulmate relationship here this person was a thief they stole from you and your ancestors your ancestors see it as though they stole from them you're supposed to be this rising star collective you are this rising star but you're supposed to be this rising star with the with what was stolen from you and someone something's getting ready to end this road is closed something is being manifested And it's going to make you really happy. You're going to have a lot of bliss and happiness. You've been using your spiritual gifts to manifest something. Maybe you've been manifesting putting someone in checkmate. It has to do with your family here. And they've been doing voodoo. And your intuition has already told you this. They could be doing voodoo on your intuition they can't stand it that you're ascending and that you're so high vibrational because on this uh black widow card here it's low vibrational energy so they're trying to curse you and lower your vibrational energy so that this magic will affect you and you've ascended and gone you you've been vibing up so much that it's that it's backfiring it's it's bouncing off of you you're doing your return to cinders and this death magic is ending up taking out someone that these people that were doing the magic whoever they loved it's taking that person out or it's taking them out and they didn't that's not what they wanted and there's something going on in the courts with an investigation and it has to do with money this person's in poverty now please help they could be losing their job this per this person
could have a doctor here or someone that wears a lab coat or scrubs. Someone could work in the medical field or something to do with, with the medical field. Well, this is family here. And they've been trying to hurt the sweetheart here, which would be you, Collective. Huh. We've got the healer here. Some of you could be healers. Be sure that you're protecting your chakras and clearing um, any energy that they could be sending you to get this energetic debris off of you from this magic that they've been sending out. Been trying to mint to manipulate you and keep you on little puppet strings so that they can control you. They want to control your intuition. They want to control your ascension. This person's obsessed with fucking with you and manipulating you. The fuck? They're haters. And you're in the starseed energy. Oh, shit. Death comes in threes. So there could be three people that are getting ready to pass away because of this. Something very unlucky is getting ready to occur in someone's life. There could be a 911 call that happens. A cashier could be significant. Someone could be a loan officer or a laborer. Hmm. Jesus. We have legal on the top of the deck over here. Legal and financial support. Something's going on with finances in the court. Oops. have to do and we've got childhood here with child so you could be this person's child or this could be a sibling because on this card looks like little sisters here court paperwork has been filed someone could work for the government well, I don't want this secret coming out got karma here. Someone's getting karma. Someone's experiencing karma because they're in their south node. Someone's experiencing dharma because they're in the north node. So if you're in your north node, then that's good. Something is destined to happen. It's inevitable. And it's due to cause and effect. Divine intervention is here. Cycles are being completed. It's luck, fortune, rise and fall, circumstance, consequence, divine will, and blind justice. This person was blindsided. They didn't expect to have to go to jail. They did not expect blind justice right here they did not expect for this to happen okay they didn't they did not see this coming and they are freaking out is what spirit is saying oh shit handcuffs this is a brand new deck. I mean, I, I don't. I'm not even familiar with this deck yet. But yeah, someone's getting karma. They're going to jail. Somebody's getting put in handcuffs. We have. Let's see. The wheel of karma is Gemini energy, and then the handcuffs is Virgo energy. Control, defenseless, target, handicapped, held back, prey. So it's like this person was a predator in your life. <laughs> Suppress the need to break free. Detained by external forces. Applying force. 
someone could be incapacitated they need to submit something and they're feeling powerless hmm wow yeah they don't want the secret coming out kind of secret I need from here yeah this is this is a karmic life lesson here someone is very triggered because of this cycle ending here a karmic lesson is having to be learned right now because the truth and awareness are here with the Sun with the with the world with the emperor and with the chariot i mean that's a lot of major arcana and it's the first six cards that came out i mean this is like and then we have the tower too that is seven major arcana this is a really big situation this is a big deal this storm warning is going to be like an f20 in this person's life I'm just saying because of how this has been exposed someone's really fed up right now they're getting readings trying to figure out what's going on part of this curse here could have been a love spell that they were doing it's too late it's too late this could be family here this family came out again it's on the bottom of the deck over here too this family could be two families they're doing voodoo and now they're feeling like shit we have a love child maybe you're this person's child maybe this is a parent hmm. it's karmic ties whatever their whatever their side hustle is it came out reverse they can't do their side hustle anymore whatever they were trying to hustle could bump heads with these people or with this person something could be going on with some kind of a workplace affair you could have worked with this person this person was very much a trickster they were they were phony they created a lot of illusions and this person stabbed you in the back okay a lot of pain this if this was a partner they were cheating on you there was a lot of deception love bombing and mind games that was going on well a firestorm is here karma is here it's going to be a lot of drama when this comes out there's endings and loss and someone is having a mental breakdown and you're going to be saying goodbye to someone or they're going to be saying goodbye to everyone is they have to go to prison hmm wow on here what do I need from here your this was a soul contract that this person agreed to do before they incarnated whatever this situation is it's uh, fulfilling a soul contract here you could could have been fighting with this person there's a lot of trust issues everything was one-sided this person is detached something very secretive and sneaky was going on hidden hiding information and that hidden information I saw that somewhere see that mm -hmm. 
It's on the fine print card. Taking a detail, detailed closer look, introspecting and researching. Be careful, in depth, pay attention, don't assume, thorough, dive deep, hidden information, double check and read between the lines and it's clarified by struggles with material possessions. Hmm. Some kind of a power struggle is going on right now. There's an imbalance and someone's very stubborn. They're freaking out because this there's a scandal with a lot of drama with this truth that's getting ready to come out. They are freaking out. Wow, they could be sitting here contemplating yes or no. Do I stay or do I go? Unsure choices and decisions. This person is hurting very bad. They're crying, they're depressed, and they're full of pain and sorrow. This person is really scared. I don't know what this person did to you, but this person is is really, really not okay. Give me one more. Some kind of unfinished business. A proposal. This person may want your forgiveness. They could be trying to come in and try and reconcile in some way. This could be someone that you broke up with that you or that you give the cold shoulder to. You have your distance and separation from this person. You may not be, have any contact with this person. Yeah, you know, we got fed up again. You threw, you threw deuces and said, I'm bouncing. You cut ties and you walked away. This could be uh, someone that you were in a relationship with and they were out in third parties, situations, secretly hooking up with people. And we've got an STD here. An ex, could, this could be an ex here. They're out having a lot of sex and running around getting into something. Let's get ready to go to... Wow! Yeah, I mean like... Three of them right here beside each other? Jesus Christ, that's a lot. It's no wonder you're giving this person the cold shoulder. They've got an STD. And if they're out having this much sex, they're spreading it around the community. This person could be very childish, immature, argumentative, and they always play the victim. You don't get along with this person at all. Inferno just popped up. Someone, everything's crumbling down. This person is, oh man, their world is just full of chaos. They could have lost their job. They're in the pit of hell. They're in the inferno. This person is full of envy. You're in this beautiful high value empress energy. You're beautiful, you're sexy, you're abundant, and you're confident, and this person is a hater. They're spiteful, and there's a lot of jealousy going on here. This person could be planning to text you or call you or meet up with you, but this person plays a lot of mind games, and if this is not an ex, then an ex could have been bribed to come in and um, affect your relationship as this black widow here. Could have been sent in by your family. This could have been like a fallen twin here that went rogue. This could be um, a past life soulmate energy here. You just take it how it resonates. But this is like an ex and family. And they sabotaged. They sent in a black widow here. Or a black widow um, did magic to take your person. There's mind games that are being played. This person's very immature. They're testing you. They're analyzing you. They were living in a, level, a double life. They were, I just heard, a double agent. They're a liar. They're deceptive. And they were in another relationship. And now you're avoiding this person. And there's no communication. And you may not be in communication with your family either. If legal matters are going on in your life and this is your story the legal matters will go in your favor 
manifesting abundance, unexpected money, a promotion, and you could be an entrepreneur. You're in no contact with this person. They're blocked, silent treatment, cut off all communication. You said goodbye. And they could be watching you from secret accounts if you've cut these people off. Okay. And they could be bullying you on online on secret accounts. has to do about family secrets regarding a gift here. It's a main male and whoever they're in a relationship with here, a main female. So we have a couple or it doesn't have to yeah, I think this is a couple here. Someone's in bad health and they're going to prison because or even if their health is bad, they're still going to prison. We have another main male in great fortune. So there could be two males, one female. We have great fortune and sudden wealth. Someone, and it was involving someone's death. Hmm. So it's an inheritance there. We have a mature woman that also has a secret. We have a couple that also has a lot of money. Now these people are in despair. So it's like all, they're in despair over this great fortune here. We have an official person Something's getting ready to change. Whenever this person goes to court, or this is, or this is a court official here that's getting ready to make a change. It's getting ready to be a change about poverty. A privileged lady. A, could be like rags to riches overnight. With unexpected income coming in here. And a gift. We have a child that's held in high honor. And that would be you, Collective. And these people are very concerned about this. They're all to pieces because it's going. something's going on in the courts and has to do with this couple here and they're going to prison. So thieves. Hmm. Wow. Somebody could cross over. Someone could pass away in their home. Hmm. If someone in your family passes away, I'm very sorry for your loss. 119 exactly on the clock when I said that. See if I got this deck. <laughs> this deck is funny. It's called Shit Happens, and it's it's little shit people. <laughs> let's see what let's see what these shitheads are talking about here. <laughs> let's see what's going on. <laughs> let's see what this has to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love them and their shit unconditionally. Adaptable. So someone that should have loved you unconditionally. Doesn't sound like that's what happened. The shit just hit the fan. Reclaiming power here. The shit has hit the fan. Don't shit yourself. You're on the right path. Trust. <laughs> A wealthy shithead. <laughs> Holy shit. Coordination.
celebration. It's time to celebrate the good shit. <laughs> Something promises. <laughs> Something's promising here. You're you're gonna be a wealthy shithead. <laughs> no. Are you are you a crazy shit? <laughs> be sensible now. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's up shit creek without a paddle. They need to learn to go with the flow. <laughs> They're going to need assistance. <laughs> oh, God. All great shit is preceded by chaos. Someone's going through a shit storm. They're dealing with a huge challenge right now. <laughs> <laughs> This is funny. <laughs> the king of shit masters it. <laughs> Been educated on something. Hard work will improve a shitty situation. Stay focused. <laughs> Discover the meaning of shit. Go on a go on a quest. <laughs> You can't pick up a turd by the clean end. There's no such thing. Someone wants control and they're losing control. <laughs> Let's do one more. Shit just got real. Seek the truth. Somebody's exploring something. <laughs> shit just got real collective shit has hit the fan oh my goodness and you can't pick up a turd by the clean end so like they, they're gonna have shit all over them good grief okay what do we need what do we need we have Libra Leo Taurus. Pisces. Gemini. Capricorn. Gemini again. Sagittarius. Cancer. Scorpio. Aquarius, Leo again, Sagittarius again, Aries, Cancer again, we'll do two more, Cancer again, and Cancer again, Aries again, do it one more time, Aquarius, all right. Okay, guys, so this is going to be our reading. You guys just take this how it resonates. Um, someone is definitely getting ready to to uh, have to go have to go do something that they are absolutely terrified of. So, you know, if you've never been incarcerated, it's a scary thing. You can't mentally prepare for that. I mean, I've, I've never been in prison, but I mean, I've, I spent 40 days in jail, you know. 30 of it straight for a violation of probation so, so it was automatic 30 days I had to do five weekends so you know it's a scary thing you can't mentally prepare for something like that and if it's prison I, I couldn't imagine you know even if you do something really bad you still mm, you, you can't begin to understand the fear that comes with that it's a scary thing so anyway um, don't do stupid shit so you don't have to do time you know that's just the best way to do it but people have to learn the hard way and whoever this is right now they're getting ready to uh, have the consequences of their actions because it's checkmate a black widow is in checkmate so it is what it is. <coughs> All right, collective. So, this is going to be our reading. Only take what resonates. I hope this helps you on your journey and helps you understand maybe what's going on with somebody in your situation. 
I hope you guys have a good night. Bye, Collective.